still in the mood of celebrating the third anniversary of the executive governor of River State, Barrister Chief Yesam Wike Cohen, some more landmark projects were commissioned. The 26th of June 2018 was another historic day in the education sector in River State, with a grand opening of the River State University Faculty of Technical and Science Education Complex, built by Governor Yesam Wike. The day also witnessed the flag off of the SUG Secretariat building. In the opening remarks of the Pro Chancellor of the River State University, Justice Iche Ndo, retired, he said the University Council appreciates the investments of Governor Yesam Wike in the University, which he described as very encouraging. The commissioning of this complex, the Faculty of Technical and Science Education, which is the project that makes us proud. It's a project which was commenced and executed by the United States government within your two years of administration. The vice chairman and vice chancellor of the River State University, Professor Blessing Didia, in his address and project description, lauded Governor Yesum Wiki for his developmental strides to improve the standard of education in River State. Professor Blessing Didia described the new Faculty of Science and Technical Education complex as an edifice which has a total of 11 classrooms, conference halls, 72 offices, and many more. Your Excellency, sir, each floor of that building is well decorated. The complex is an edifice built by you and by your instruction, well supervised, and Your Excellency, you will love what you see, sir. Thank you very much. The River State University SUG President, Comrade Bestman Azonwa, was very excited and heaped praises on Governor Yesum Wike for keeping the student community very close to his heart. The Student Union President, Comrade Bestman Azonwa, announced a special recognition award of Students Governor of the Year on Governor Yesum Wike for his commitment to the development of education in River State. The SUG president, Comrade Bestman Azonwa, also announced the endorsement of Governor Yesim Wike for a second term and showed a specially designed poster of the governor for the 2019 election. The executive governor of River State, Barrister Chief Yesim Wike Cohen, in his address, declared that his administration will support the River State University to emerge as one of the best global centers of learning in the country. Mr. Project, Governor Yesum Wike said, the development of facilities and infrastructure at the institution will continue to receive priority attention. And this is the first time I've seen where I'm first and even in the university. And the university is utilizing the resources. This is the first time we have now had crisis of the investment of funds. The government is one dollar. We can't even account for it. No project. You can see that when you have people who are committed, when you have people who have the same vision with government, you will always achieve. I'm sure on the 3rd of July, we're also coming back to this university to commission the medical college. That also tells you how we think that this university will be one of the best in the future. We believe that. So I commend you for doing this. Governor Yesum Wiki proceeded to lay the foundation for the River State University Students' Union Government SUG Secretariat, which he said is in line with his pledge to the student's body. To fulfill the promise we made to the students that we are going to build the Secretariat, a befitting Secretariat, for them to have to carry out their activities as it concerns their welfare. Today, 26th of June, 2018. The same day, the 26th of June 2018, was the 30th convocation ceremony 
of the River State University, which took place at the school arena. Governor Yesum Wiki, who is an alumnus of the great university, joined in for the academic procession as the visitor of the university. The program began with the national anthem, followed by the River State University anthem. The pro-chancellor of the River State University, Honorable Justice Ichi Ndo, retired, while addressing the congregation, thanked the governor of River State, Barrister Chief Nyesam Wiki C.O.N., for the historic commissioning of the Faculty of Technical and Science Education, as well as the laying of the foundation block for the SUG Secretariat. The pro-chancellor, Honorable Justice Ichi Ndo, retired, described the convocation ceremony as unique. He also made it known that the 30th convocation ceremony would be the maiden edition after the name of the university was changed from the River State University of Science and Technology to River State University. The Vice Chancellor of the River State University, Professor Blessing Didia, in his address, thanked God for everyone present to witness the historic day. He described the graduation ceremony as a grand achievement. Professor Blessing Didia also congratulated all the graduates and commended their hard work. He urged them to be good ambassadors of the university. Later on, the executive governor of River State, Barrister Chief Yesum Wike, while delivering her speech, congratulated all the graduating students. He also stated that the River State University occupies a strategic position in the priority list of his administration, noting that efforts to grow the institution will be sustained. Governor Yesum Wike later announced scholarship awards to all River indigents admitted to study medicine in any recognized university in Nigeria. Governor Wiki also approved automatic employment for all River State indigents who bagged doctorate degrees at the university. He also approved the offer of automatic scholarship for the 25 River indigents who bagged first-class degrees during the 2018 convocation ceremony of the River State University. Governor Yesum Wiki also presented the graduate students with their certificates. I'm so strong and glad to stand for the positive state of mind. Believe me, I can do it too to make the difference of standing out. I believe that the degree is a veritable passion for so many possibilities. It could be a passion for attending the good life, a passion for attending your family situation. On Wednesday, the 27th of June, 2018, students, parents, indigents, and well-wishers came out in their numbers 
to witness a new dawn in Abonema, in Akukutoro local government area of River State, when the executive governor of River State, Barrister Chief Yesemwike C.O.N., and the former acting national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Senator Ahmed Makrafi, commissioned the Nyemoni Grammar School Abonema. In the welcome remarks of the Amayanabo of Abonema, King Desrael Baba Bob Manuel, he commended Governor Yesem Wiki for the developmental strides. He said the community was neglected by the previous administration without any development. The Amayanabo of Abonema, King Desrael Baba Bob Manuel, thanked Governor Wiki for the new standard. Uh, people are grateful to you for remembering us and fulfilling your campaign promises in your joint developmental strides in the area of infrastructure and human capital development. In the past, uh, people were largely neglected in the developmental programs of both the state and the federal government. Today, we are happy to note that finally, attention is being given to us by your administration. We deserve it because Agricultural local government contributes very heavily to the federal and state revenue. Students of Yemoni Grammar School, Abonima, rendered an appreciation song to thank the River State Governor. The River State Honorable Commission for Education, Dr. Tamano Sisi Gugu Jaja, thanked Governor Wiki for his commitment to the development of education in the state. Dr. Tamano Sisi Gugu Jaja added that Governor Yusum Wiki revived the school that was closed down by the previous administration for about eight years. He said two new hostels were constructed including laboratories and libraries, a sick bay, an administrative block, and a good road network system. The executive governor of River State, Barrister Chief Yesum Wike in his address, said the revival and total re-equipping of the school was in line with his promise to the Abonima people during the electionary campaign. The governor added that the state government will work towards establishing one faculty of one of the state-owned universities in the area. What happened was I came for campaign, and I came there one time I landed here. I couldn't believe that this is a school in River State. I couldn't believe that in a city like Abonima, this is the kind of school we will have. And I told the people of Abonima, by the special grace of God, if you give us your mandate, we will do everything possible to bring back this school to what it's supposed to be. Today, we give God the glory that we have come to fulfill the promise we made to you. Former acting national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Senator Ahmed Makrafi, declared that Nigerians who love democracy will always stand with the River State Governor Barrister Chief Yesum Wike for his investment in the sustenance of democracy. He also stated that Governor Yesum Wike has raised the bar so high that his successor would have a huge task at hand. Don't bother if people are complaining that they are commissioning too many projects. Of course, if somebody cannot run, you say you are running too fast. If somebody cannot walk, he says, ah, are you running? When, as a matter of fact, you are just walking. So, that's a compliment, that's a testimony to the gap you are giving those that are trying to pull you down and keep on doing what you are doing. God is with you. The people of River State are with you. The larger PDP family is with you. Indeed! Nigerians who love democracy are with you. After which, Senator Ahmed Makrafi proceeded to commission the projects before taking a tour of the facility. Thursday, the 28th of June 2018, was a historic day in Ogubulo community in River State. As the Executive Governor of River State, His Excellency, Barrister Chief Yesum Wike, flagged off the Bulo Internal Road Network to enhance the economy of the River Rhine community in River State. The program started with the opening remarks by the chairman of Ogubolo local government area, Navy Captain Erasmus Victor Retired, and said 
The commencement of the construction of Bolo Internal Roads is a worthy gift to the people of the area, saying that the people of Ugubolo will remain eternally grateful to the River State Governor, Barrister Chief Yesemwike C.O.N., for the incredible transformation he's bringing to the community. Senator George Thompson Sekibo, an indigenous of the community, in his goodwill message, thanked the governor for all his developmental strides all across River State, stating that Governor Yesum Wike has definitely satisfied the people of River State with various developmental projects across the state. Senator George Sekibo assured the River State governor of their commitment to work for his re-election in 2019. Your Excellency, we are really appreciative of your effort in the state and we see all you've done. Today, we only want to encourage you. As a good Christian, you read Psalm 115 from verse 6 and 7. It says this, They have mouth, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses they have, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their mouth. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusted in them. Your Excellency, the entire river state has confessed we are doing extremely very well. And we know that Brick House, Brick House, Brick House, it's not, it's, vac it's not vacant for any person. You will be there by the grace of God. The Executive Governor of River State, Barrister Chief Yesem Wike, in his address, thanked all for the warm welcome and urged the contractors to be swift with the delivery of the project because he would not condone any excuses after the set time frame. And I want to say that communities that protect projects that they give to them deserve more projects. You see, when government do something in your community and you protect it, government will be more interested to give you other projects. Not when people are working, you are chasing them uh, away, making all kinds of uh, demands. I want the project to be finished on record uh, time. The money to pay you is not the problem. It is for you to focus and finish the work. After that, other top government officials joined in flagging off the Boloi Internal Road project. Friday, the 29th of June 2018, was another memorable day for workers of River State, as Mr. Project, Governor Yesum Wiki of River State, and the President of the Nigeria Liberal Congress NLC, Comrade Ayuba Waba, did the foundation laying in flag off of the Nigeria Liberal Congress River State Secretariat. The kind gesture by the Governor Barrister Chief Yesum Wiki is a way of showing appreciation to the workers of River State for their diligent and patriotic service to the state. The River State NLC Chairman, Comrade Beatrice Etubo, in her opening remarks, thanked the Executive Governor of River State, Barrister Chief Yesum Wiki, for the very kind gesture. Comrade Beatrice Etubo said, Governor Wiki's move to construct the NLC River State Secretariat is a sign of goodwill which will be reciprocated by the workers through continuous diligent service to the state. In the remarks and project description of the Special Advisor to the River State Governor on Special Projects, Alabo George Kelly, he said Governor Yesum Wiki has enhanced governance through project revolution across the state. Alaba Judge Curley further stated that the new secretariat will be a modern three-story building with a fortified foundation to carry five stories. He said the building would also consist of a 400-capacity auditorium, offices, conference rooms, a recording room, a cafeteria, and a security post. The pride of River State, the executive governor of River State, Baris Techif, Yesum Wike in his address, commended workers in River State for their diligent service to the state, stressing that the harmonious relationship has enhanced development in River State. Governor Yesum Wiki also instructed the construction company to complete the project by December, as he will not condone any excuses.
He used the medium to inform the Trade Union Congress to respect the Secretariat of their own soonest. Look at the evening room of every implementation of government policies is labor. So if you don't carry them along, then the whole thing we are achieving of these roads, the infrastructure building, will not be there. Permanent secretary are civil servants. The accountants are civil servants. Directors of projects are civil uh, servants. So they are the ones to implement. And yet you can't find them a roof where they will stay to discuss about their welfare. If you wait for that mega deduction, then nothing will uh, happen. Before performing the flag off, the president of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Comrade Ayuba Waba, lauded the River State Governor for taking steps to improve the working condition of workers in River State. He stated that the development will go down in history and make him one of the governors who worked with Labour for a better society. Let me say that this gesture of a very wonderful support by River State Government to rebuild the Secretariat of NLC that was actually raised down by fire in 2015 is not only commendable, but it's something that we cherish very much. And therefore, I want to thank His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, for this wonderful initiative. Comrade Ayuba Waba later conducted the foundation lane and flag of ceremony alongside the governor, barrister chief Yesemwike, and other top government officials. Saturday, the 30th of June, 2018, was an unforgettable day for the people of Thai community of River State as they experienced an unprecedented turnaround in over 50 years with the flag of ceremony of five road Kira, Noa, Barayira, Sime, Etiu Road in Thai local government area of River State by the Executive Governor of River State, Barista Chief Yesem Wike. He was joined by former Governor of Akwaibom State, Senator Godswill Babio. In the opening remarks of the Chairman of Thai Local Government Area, Honorable Jacobson Barineka, he thanked the Governor for delivering quality products across River State. He also urged him to continue to do more so as to make River State a leading state among others. In the remarks of His Royal Highness, the Benemene Tuatua of Thai, Samuel Ne, he expressed his profound gratitude to Governor Yesem Wiki, adding that the entire Thai community is very happy with the Governor for his commitments to the development of the state. Member of the House of Representatives representing Thai, Elime Uyibo Federal Constituency, Honorable Barry Impigi, in his remarks, said, Although he is a member of the APC, he has found Governor Yesem Wike worthy of a second term in office on the basis of his performance across River State. Adding that Governor Yesem Wike is the only person with the capacity to drive the growth of the state. The Executive Governor of River State, Barrister Chief Yesem Wike, while speaking at the flag of ceremony, stated that all the 23 local government areas of River State have benefited from key projects in the last three years. The governor commended the people of Thai local government area for their patience over the years, noting that more projects will be executed in the area. So Thai people, God loves you so much. That's why people shouldn't be in a hurry. Since we are not in a hurry, and you waited this period, blessings will come more. And I thank you. Let me also say, by next week, you will get your commissionership. I try to resolve everything so you get your commissionership back. Before performing the flag of ceremony, Senate Minority Leader Senator Godswill Babio said, God has endorsed the River State Governor, Barry State Chief Yesem Wiki, to help transform River State. I want to say congratulations to this community. Thank you for turning out the large numbers. Please continue to vote governors that can perform for you. You have seen one here. And when it is your turn, please bring out the best that will think of the entire River State, irrespective of where a position comes from. Lee Maver is not nodding his head. He said he's very happy with Wiki. 
They later went on to perform the flag off ceremony. On behalf of my constituents, especially the Thai people, we have to thank the award winning governor. This has been a 50 years old road abandoned by almost all the administration. But thank God today, the governor of River State, the friend of the Ogoni people, the friend of the Thai people, remembered us. And today he's coming out to flag up this road. It's a good thing writing in the right direction. And it's one of those dividends of democracy my people have been expecting. We want to thank Governor Yes on Weekend once more. Thank <laughs> you.